right, so I want to show you a quick way to be able to compare two fractions using the cross multiplication method. Some call it the butterfly method. The key to this is always start at the bottom and multiply diagonally. 7 times 3. You can draw the line if it helps you. 7 times 3 is 21. 5 times 6 is 30. Then compare the numbers. It's as simple as that. Which one's greater? Your 30's greater, right? So 6 sevenths is greater than 3 fifths. All right? All right. Here's another quick example. Multiply 3 times 3. 6 times 2. Compare. You see that 12 is greater. So when you rewrite your problem, make sure that your inequality, you're saying 2 thirds is greater than 3 6. Now, if you get mixed up and you multiply from top down, you'll see that 2 times 6 is 12 and you're going to put, if you put 12 over here and you say 3 times 3 and 9 over here, you're going to get it reversed and it's going to be wrong. So that is why never start at the top going down. Always, when you're cross multiplying, start at the bottom and go up bottom and go up. All right? All right. So starting at the denominator, 12 times 5 is 60. 8 times 9 is 72. Which one is greater? 9 twelfths is greater than 5 eighths. All right. Okay, so the last example 4 times 6 is 24. 8 times 3 is 24. When you get numbers that are the same, you know you found an equivalent fraction. So 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. Thanks for watching.